A list is an ordered and changeable collection of different data types. In Python, list is identical to arrays in other scripting languages, such as Ruby, JavaScript, or PHP. They are written with square brackets. Lists are mutable, which means that they can be altered even after their creation. Let's create a list. We'll call it my underscore list. And this is actually an empty list. So if we'll print it, we'll have an empty list. We can also create a list of numbers composed from integers and floats. So we'll call that my list one will be equal to, let's say 23, for instance, 12.3 and 3000. And let's print my list one. Okay. You can also create a list of strings. So let's call that my list two. And let's say, for example, um, cherry, banana and apple. Okay, so let's print list two, and we have a list of fruits inside. List also allows you to store an enumerated set of items in one place and access an item by its position or an index. If we want the cherry, we can say print my list two with index of zero, and we will get cherry. Similarly, with the banana one and the apple with the index two. Good. We can also create a multi-dimensional list by nesting a list inside the list. Actually, let's say for instance, that we have a list called just nested list. This will be equal to like that. And inside here, we can have many things. So we can say chairs, tables, and also we can have a second list. We can say flowers, trees. So if we'll go ahead and print the nested list, it will get everything inside that list. And similarly with the indexing, we can get the first list in that big list. So we can say print nested list with index of zero and with the index of one. We can also get the size of a list. So if we would like to get the size of the nested list, we can say print and we'll use the len built in Python function on that nested list. And we have to because it treats each list as one item. We can append to a list actually. So let's say that we have a list called list A and this will be equal to an empty list. And we want to append, let's say 100, 200 and 400. So you can say list A dot append and also 200 and 300. All right. And let's go ahead and print list A. And there we go. We have the three numbers that we have appended to list A.